Hello, I'm going to show you today a very simple trick to, or method actually, to delete content using a script. Um, so for instance, you might um, need it when you are reloading data uh, for a different parameter and you want to make sure that the range uh, in which you will uh, write the data is cleared before that, so that no extra data is, is visible. Let me just uh, illustrate quickly. I'll show you what I mean. So let's open our script editor. We had basically done a little script that is filtering the data from uh, this list according to um, a bunch of parameters, depending on the expense of the candidate or the industry in which they work. Um, and uh, I'll just run it uh, just to show you, uh, just to get some data in there. Okay, so you see I have some candidate that are popping in, and if you want to know more about how we did that, you can watch some, uh, some of our um, previous videos. But let's just change the parameter and reload it. We'll run the script. Okay, and you can see that um, I have uh, one candidate with B2B experience, but that the, the records that are under this candidate uh, and that are from the previous search are still visible. So that's something that uh, we want to avoid. And in order to do that, we need to be able to clear that range uh, before um, writing the new data, okay? So let's just uh, go into our script editor. Just clear content, just as a comment. And let's define the range where that uh, we want to clear before we uh, write the data. So we go basically from B10 and all the way to F. And ideally I want to clear all the way down, okay? So I will use um, our search sheet, which we define here, dot get range. And I will use the um, A1 notation in here, which will be B10 and F. I do not need to complete the F. It just means that it will clear it all the way uh, down to the end of the sheet. Dot, and now we will use our method, clear content in this case, okay? Let's uh, let's see what happens now. I will run my data again, run the script again. And you can see that the data has changed. So let's just try again. Okay, we get some new data. Um, we'll just use a record where I only have one candidate. So let's just use finance. run my script and you can see that it clears, uh, it clears the range before writing the data, which is a simple uh, method that I wanted to demonstrate today. So thank you. And if you enjoyed the tutorials, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.